Before today's video starts, I want to let you guys know that I'll be going to the Summoners War LA meetup that is happening this weekend on April 22nd. More info, I'll leave a link down below, but I'll be there my first time at an official Summoners War meetup in the US. So I'm very excited. We're playing RTA, summon a lot, do a lot of activities. And the most important thing is I can meet you in person and thank you for watching my video. And that's it. There's going to be a link to register down below. I really want to see you if you are around the area and you can make it to the Summoners on Airway meetup. Now let's start the awesome video today. Hey guys, welcome back to our monthly Summoners on Reddit series where we take a look at the most beautiful posts last month on the Summoners on Reddit. The first post is actually... <laughs> The first part is that there was a buff. Or somebody got into a to a server, or an intern that got really mad at why his LD5, <clears throat> like Jara, didn't get buffed in the last balance patch. And they were just spamming in the notice section of the game. Like when Comptors just talk to you from the sky and tell you to log out, that kind of thing. Fun fact, your monster actually freeze when Elia goes red light. Wait, I didn't actually know that. Sheesh! Yo! Yo, that's kind of cool though. Huh. <laughs> wow. People really hate the Ongyoki nerf, huh? So Ongyoki got nerfed in the last balance patch. Ongyoki will no longer get the bonus damage from waking up from an inability effect like stun freeze or sleep. So he does normal damage and you just can't really keep him stun locked. You can kill Ongyoki with a continuous damage. When you stun him, you just put his HP to like one, and then when he wake up, he will die to the dot. So people are saying that he kind of does the same damage as Kaki or less now. So he might as well be a four star unit, but there are a couple good things about this guy. Can't stun him. And when he's stunned, you can't kill him. And he's dark, so his defense will be more consistent. He also does very, very good damage overall, but he doesn't feel like that absolutely insane beast of a monster in the past anymore. Still a very good unit though. Still terrify me whenever I see this guy because you just can't stun him. They really go above and beyond to let us select our three fake nat 5. Hey. <laughs> not bad, right? <laughs> if this is not the coolest skin in the game, I don't know what is. I gotta say. It looks pretty badass. That most of us, most of you guys will never even see the skin okay because a lot of you guys are like casual player so the only way for you to see this guy is when you find a top tier guardian siege player and those player they either hate rta that's why they devote so much time into siege or if they love rta and they have the rune quality to be a top tier siege gamer then you will probably not play at a high rank level enough to see him in rta anyway so it's such a cool thing that most of us would never get to see. Project 100% crit rate Tricaru and... Whoa, that is a 30 second Tricaru DB12. Holy shit. 25 second Necro. I mean, the, the, the giant thing is like... Oh, you can see the rune. So this is the Verdehal rune. The Verd rune is absolutely insane with the fight set as well. That is... Even the artifact, co-op attack damage plus 17%, rage determination, absolutely incredible. This this thing hit harder than your copper. So you might notice that the Icaro speed is very, very slow. You mentioned in the comment section that you just do more damage. You don't have to go as many turns, so it's totally okay to be this slow. Someone who used Pongback Cleave during rush hour. Oh, the Molly nerf. She no longer has the glancing aura on herself. So when you think like punk back, you can slap the molly directly in the past. That 15% will, will really make you go crazy. But what if they put molly and Triana together? You, have, you still have to hit Triana. <laughs> I finished my island art. That is very, very adorable. Oh my God. Wait, is there something else behind? What is the guy behind Vegeta? Do you guys also realize that in Dragon Ball, it's like this guy is literally a carrot and this guy's name is Vegetable. <laughs> Who the fuck is that guy in green? Who's that? Is that supposed to be in the Dragon Ball Z universe as well? Me without an LD5 of the 3000 days, people with LD5 blessing. 
Imagine being able to get LD5 blessing and then having enough LD scroll to pop the blessing. Hi, <sighs> unrelatable. And yes, once again, blessing saved me so hard. Oh, so he gave up the 33% speed lead for, for a weaker Molong. Okay, I'm just kidding. Average summoners or community. New player here. Any tips? I don't <laughs> run. Don't run. Don't have this game. <laughs> We don't allow new people to come in or we discourage them, but we also can't get out. What kind of community? <laughs> Someone also is like a religion, but in real world religion, people actually get other people to come in. They do all the things they can to be like, hey, come to the church, whatever nonsense, right? But in Summoner's World, it's like, no, don't come to our church. No, stay the fuck away. It's, it's, it's kind of strange. Dude, look at inflation. But like things in Summoner's World get cheaper. Does that make sense? Can you call this inflation? Isn't isn't it like the opposite of inflation? Back when, what's up guys? Why do you see me here with some more summoners or action? And then I wear a white tank top with a hat. <laughs> ah, don't you miss those days? Damn, I, I used to be in the library doing my schoolwork, listen to YDCB farm for an hour. Let me just talk about this man and madness. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Huh? Why is he flexing? When your OP LD5 get nerfed. Worst balance patch ever. Wait, this is an E. This is the T. Grammar police. <laughs> it's not that bad. I've been enjoying my Vanessa. My LD5 didn't get even touched. <sighs> Imagine having relevant LD5 to get fixed. My LD5 are so irrelevant. Like, it's just never get into the balance patch. Except for like, Gianna. New transport preview. I swear the, the fairy transport looks the same, but now I can see her legs and her, 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 her assets. And then we have literally an anime protagonist over here. Like every high school protagonist anime. And the werewolf looks kind of the same. So before I'm pointing out, he looks like exactly the guy in League of Legends. And then we have um, Asian theme, Shadow Master. That's about it. Exactly the LD I wish for. Congratulations. Balance patch working as intended. Oh, it's the samurai going absolutely crazy, right? I imagine being able to do this. Wow, crazy. Crazy, am I right? Just It's just all of our daily routine. Okay, what, what this unit is doing, it's just all of our daily routine. <laughs> it's not like it's new. Come just be like, what? There's no way this is impossible. It was not our intention to have a unit go so many turns in a row, guy. No way. <laughs> All over on a daily basis. Literally. But cool things, yeah? We we were able to use it. Not really many people use it anyway. It wasn't like that good because the, the kit of the samurai is very underwhelming to start with. And now the damage is like garbage. What is something that only all player would understand? Armor. SSS. True. The young Gen Z summoners now, they, they don't even know about the, the days of the light bear man, guys. Hi. <sighs> Math Beretta TOA meta. I mean, Math is still pretty good. Five waves in Kairos Dungeon. Five waves in Kairos Dungeon? Wait, there were five waves in Kairos Dungeon? I have a friend who summoned like five Sigmas and he was still playing the game. I don't know why. Like, I don't, I don't know if he's still playing the game nowadays. And then I have another friend who summoned like five Katarina. It's actually insane. Poor them. And then they introduced the law of no dupes from fusion and from summoning kind of thing. Rina was the strongest monster in the game. I have friends who... who I have friends. I, I They are not... They, they're gone now. <laughs> no longer play summoners. Or. I have friends who used to devilmon Rina and Ramagos because they didn't know better. Okay? Because they saw one YDCB video and like, oh my god, there's two Star Warbears actually insane. I mean, he was kind of insane. I think I broke EU server. Did he summon all four LD? How? What happened? How many? 55 LD scroll. 4 LD5. Hit the like button if you are. It's never summoned one LD5 in your entire summoners or nine years. Nine years. Zero LD5. Wow. This is a great thumbnail. <laughs> that looks beautiful. I don't know why. Who would I choose? I think I'll choose the dark one. The dark one is just like way more aggressive and fun. Whoa, I wanted to draw Veramos because I love his design. Yeah, that is absolutely awesome. LD5 Wish, I, I, I think this is no longer very interesting. We are more interested in LD5 Blessing now. <laughs> 699, beautiful. Gilmate told me to use his offense against Manon. Oh, one shot team. One of my favorite things to do against Manon team. I wonder what's gonna happen. 
And I think he lost after that, right? <laughs> Didn't even bother to finish the recording. He's just like, Nah, fuck, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. After Molly Balance Patch. <laughs> Recolor Horde of Heroes right here. Look at me, I'm the captain now. True! The blue one is very, very underrated. I, th I think they have Laika, and then they nerf Laika, and then they introduce Miho, who was what Laika should have been, and then they nerf Miho, and then they miss the revenge bullshit, and then they bring back this thing. <laughs> Maybe when they nerf this, they're gonna bring out another new unit that does something similar to what Laika back in the day. Revenge, and then stun. GB7 with Silver Star. GB7? Ah, oh, could've been better if it's GB12? You can do this! Oh, the Violent Proc! Wait, that's it? Welcome to the team, Asima. Ooh. Yeah, Asima just... You, you can't argue, Asima's absolutely insane. This is a tough choice. Who would choose Dark Evil? Dark Evil can potentially be really fun. But Asima is just like, like A grade, S tier, awesome unit for the long, long time. Whales keeping summoners were going strong. So this is like the list of revenue of all the different mobile gacha games. So at the top, we have Uma Musume. It is a horse racing simulator game in Japan, only available in Japan. And is made $25 million in February and $76 million in it's insane. It is one of the most insane thing I've ever heard, okay? Below it is Global Genshin Impact. You know, the, the giant of mobile game, a cross-platform game. And we have Nikkei, the Teddy game, and somehow Summoners are in the top. But if you engage in any gacha game, the conversation with a mobile game enjoyer, Summoners was like ancient relic, but still. Comparing to all these other popular newer games down here, Summoners are still on top. Crazy. How, how the game is still going so strong year after year after year. What the f... 8,000. I did a 7,000 scroll summon session recently. 8,000. What the... Free to play, by the way. A mystical refund event would go crazy. True. I said good luck. I hope he, he DM me so that I can... Summoners are waiting for 2A be like. When was the last 2A again? It's been a year. It's not It's not even a yearly thing anymore. <laughs> it's no longer a yearly thing. It's so sad. Oh, it's from Slickhead. One, complete the mission. Check this out. Classic summoners, all guys. Skill issues, by the way. Skill issues. This guy is actually playing the real summoner sword, not the. <laughs> He's spending more time playing the real summoner sword without violent proc. Imagine violent proc in chess. New skin is wild. I mean, I mean, for sure. I look like a, after the Giga Chat. I drew Tomoe. <laughs> Never knew this guy have. See? It's not just me. Some other people doesn't know he has a gun, okay? It's not just me, guys. I didn't know he has a gun. Maybe he also watched my video and they realized that, oh, wait, this guy has a gun? Summoners were RTA last season tier list, G3 and G1 tier list. As you can see, top of the chart after many nerf, still top of the chart, Oliver. And then a bunch of LD Nat 5. And then we have the, if you don't have Oliver, or if the enemy pick Oliver, you will pick the other speed lead. So we have Water Striker, we have more over there. We have Manon being an absolute menace of a unit. Is that a word? In the top tier. And many on LD5 as well. Where's my LD5? Let me let me try. Oh, there's Gianna. Always good. 
<laughs> but I, I, I hate using that unit so bad. It's just, I, I want to stop. Can I use something else more interesting, please? Oliver, after all those years, still at the very top. We are seeing the rise of Busa, and I think we can see the rise of Vanessa back to the top as well nowadays. Pretty crazy, the changes. Someone is what LD blessing. Wow, the dream. I, I like these balls actually. I like to think about the choices that I could have made if I see these blessings. I have had enough of this fat ass cookie. Kaki did zero zero. <laughs> The peak of 15%. This is like Galleon just do zero defense break after time to loot. It's like time to quit. And I think that is the time to end this video as well. Thank you so much for watching this month's Summoners of a Reddit series. Oh, that's a long thing to say. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next month. Have a good day.